I have a antique straight jacket. For like crazy people kind of straight jacket? Well, this is not just any straight jacket. This is an original Harry Houdini straight jacket. Okay. It does look Friday the 13th-ish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Coming down the pawn shop today to try to sell my Harry Houdini straight jacket. And if I can get enough money, I'd like to build a Jeep. I'm hoping to sell it for $100,000. It's an absolutely priceless uh, piece of Houdini memorabilia. So where did you get this thing? This jacket was given to my grandfather by Theo Houdini, Harry Houdini's brother. They became good friends after Houdini passed away. Okay. Um, Houdini started off as a magician, and he didn't have a lot of success. But then he started doing the whole escape thing to help promote his magic show getting out of straight jackets, the water tricks, all that. Next thing you know, he was big. He was a master of self-promotion. Yeah. What'd you want to do with it? Uh, I'd like to sell it. And how much do you want for it? Uh, $100,000. Um, we might be talking the right neighborhood. It would be the most collectible Houdini thing there is out there. The problem is Theo Houdini was notorious for selling things that were supposed to belong to Houdini that didn't belong to Houdini. Do you mind if I have someone check it out? Love to. Okay. Hey, Rick. Hey, man, how's it right. going? I'm a magician. I travel the world doing various magic. I've been magic over 25 years. So what are the chances of this actually being Houdini's jacket? To prove it, it's like one in a million. Each rivet has a certain space, and these rivets are never going to match another jacket spacing. Now, a company that he always used a lot was the Swanfeld um, Tent and Awning Company, and generally that stamp is on a jacket. Oh, well, <laughs> Swanfeld Tent and Awning Company. I thought for sure there was no way we could prove this was Houdini's, and now we have a positive clue. This is a great start, but to prove it, I need to find photograph, which is like a one in a million chance. But if this is really Houdini's jacket. This is like the holy grail, I mean, of Houdini. So I'll look at my resources, and I have a huge file of resources, and that'll let me know if I can authenticate this or not. I can't wait to hear what Murray digs up. I don't know how he's gonna do it, but I hope he finds something that proves this is the real deal. I found the only photographs of a jacket that's as close as we can get to this jacket. It's the exact same style made by the same company. This is January 1st, 1915 in St. Louis, Missouri. Let's check this thing out, you know, let's see if this is the actual jacket. Unbelievable, look at this. This rivet here is flattened, so is this one. This rivet is raised, that's raised. You can see it in the photos, it's that clear as day. This actually reflected off the camera, which a flat surface would. This is a great sign. This right here is this. I mean, that's identical. Granted, they could have put the same amount of rivets in jackets, fair enough. But you have one stitch, two, three, four, five. Check this out. Right there. Double stitch. You know what? This is Houdini's jacket from January 1st, 1915 in St. Louis. That is absolutely awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Even in magic history, this is huge. All right, so tell me, what did these things go for? This jacket, I would estimate, would go anywhere between $34,000 and $42,000. OK. Thanks, man. You're the best. Yep. There you go. This is the first time ever I've seen Harry Houdini in a jacket and then having the exact same jacket beside me. All right, so how much do you want for it? Uh, you know, if I could get 40, I think we'd have a deal. All right, um, I'm thinking 15. It's in really rough shape. It's had repairs on it. It could be years before I sell this thing. You know, I might, I might go a little less than 40, maybe 35. I'll tell you what, I'll go 25 grand. I mean, that is tops. If, if you can come up to 30, then, then we've got a deal. Um, I'll go, you know, 25 is it. Well, um, this has been an awesome day. Uh, you know, I think I'll keep it. Okay. I'm always here, man. Awesome, thank you guys. Thank you. Forget the numbers, the most exciting thing is to actually have uh, the expert come in and find an actual photograph of Harry Houdini wearing my jacket. Absolutely blew me away, blew me away. I can't believe this guy wouldn't budge on his price. Even though we were only five grand off on the price, 25,000 is the most I could offer. Damn, I really wanted this jacket. I almost feel like running after him in the parking lot right now.
Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. He's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.